object snap. We've already visited one snap mode here. And this snap mode was to the coordinate grid that we set up. But this time, what if we want to snap to certain objects to make sure we get an endpoint, a midpoint, or a specific point of a circle, for example? Well, let's just go ahead and draw some random shapes. I'll activate the circle tool. I'll draw a circle here. Press the space bar to activate it again. I'll click here and here. I'll activate the square. I'll create a rectangle here. And then finally, I'll make an ellipse somewhere down here. Okay, well, now let's take a look at object snaps. That can be found here by pressing F3 or looking in your drawing aids for this icon here. Well, let's see where our options actually are before we start using them. You can right click and go to settings, or you can look in this menu here. And these are many of the object snaps that you'll be using. We'll go ahead and click on settings. And that will bring us to our drafting settings and the object snap tab. By pressing F3, we can turn on and off the object snap. By pressing F11, we can turn on and off the object snap tracking. We'll cover this in a later section. Right now, in my settings, I have the endpoint, midpoint, and the intersection checked. If you want to check all of them, you can click select all. But this really isn't advised just yet, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So I'll go ahead and clear all. I'll click on endpoint, midpoint, center, and intersection for my points. And I'll go ahead and click OK. I'll make sure object snap is turned on from the drawing aids. And now I'm going to draw some lines. And let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and activate the line command. And as you can see, as I move my cursor around, AutoCAD is finding us the points that we specified, an endpoint, a midpoint, an intersection, the center of the circle. So if you want to draw accurately to other objects, the object snap here can help you. So let's go ahead and draw a line from this center point to this center point here. We'll go ahead and bring it down to this midpoint. We'll go ahead and bring it to this intersection. And then we'll bring it all the way across to those endpoints there. And then press the space bar or enter to finish the command. Now there are many more object snaps to use, so let's go ahead and try some more. I'll go ahead and right click, go to settings. I will add maybe quadrant this time. We'll take off the center, the midpoint, and we'll try and see what perpendicular does and tangent. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now let's try and find some of the points that we have in our object snaps. Activate the line tool. We'll come across. As you can see, now I can click any of the four corners of the circle. And that's what quadrant does. At any 90 degree. Here. 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 And here. We'll go ahead and finish that off. Press the space bar to end the command. We'll reactivate it one more time. And we'll check some of the points that we have. So I'll click here. And we'll look for one more point somewhere. Hmm, what point can we find? Let's see what this one does here. Perpendicular. And there we go. We have a perpendicular line to this one and to that quadrant there. Press the space bar. And now you can might be thinking, it's very useful to have these object snaps turned on. But they can also be pretty tricky to work with sometimes if you don't know which ones you have. I'll go ahead and delete all these objects. I'll create some more really fast. A circle here, space bar, a circle here. You can press enter as well to reactivate the command. I'll go ahead and draw a rectangle, come across, and then I will draw one more circle right in the middle here. Now one of the ones that can kind of become confusing if you go to the settings is this one here nearest because sometimes you may want a tangent point a perpendicular point or even an end point but the nearest will overwrite it let's take a look and see I'll go ahead and activate the line tool and I want to put a quadrant point here but as you can see as I move around it's activating the symbol for the nearest so it kinda makes it a little more difficult to get that quadrant point before we just had to be in a general area and it would snap to it automatically so you gotta be careful with this one. There you go. And 
The symbol here is, let me zoom in a little bit. If I come to here, that's a quadrant. As you can see, the symbol changes here. This is the nearest. And as I move a little bit more, at this point, the tangent overrides it. So if you want a point that may not get confused later, make sure to keep not all the object snaps on. But use the ones that you may find useful. Let's go ahead and clear all of them. And let's try and make one that is an extension, parallel, or the intersection again. We can go ahead and use the midpoint and the endpoint as well, since those two usually don't get too confused. We'll go ahead and just close this, whatever shape that it was. I will double click the mouse wheel to put everything into view. And now let's go ahead and make another line. I'll go ahead and click the line tool. And let's see what the extension does. If I go ahead and come here, I'm snapping to an endpoint. I can select that. And as I come up, now I have an extension. You can see this green guideline that helps me to make sure that it's the extended line of this one below. I can go ahead and come up. And let's see what point I can find over here. I don't have center turned on. I don't have a quadrant turned on. I have an endpoint turned on. But it looks like I have no intersection turned on right now. But look, I do have a parallel. And there we go. Let's click it and see what happens. Well, those two lines don't look parallel right there. So as you can see, if you turn on too many object snaps, the, they might get confused and not help you as much as you want them to. Let's go ahead and press the space bar to get rid of that. Go ahead and go to the settings. So usually, I will keep them all turned on but I'll keep off the nearest one because that's the one that's most bothersome. And just be mindful of which object snaps you actually have so it doesn't get in the way of the geometry you're trying to create. And remember, you can come down in here to the drawing aids to toggle it on and off, or you can press the F3 key. Now maybe we have the object snaps turned on right now. So let's go ahead and see. I'll click here, here, and I don't really mind which object snaps are actually taking over, but maybe when I come to here, I don't want any object snaps to be taken over. Now, a cool method you can use is to hold down the F3 key, and that temporarily disables the object snap. And now I can freely click wherever I want. And now I can release the F3 key, and object snaps are turned back on again. I'll go ahead and double click with the middle mouse wheel to see everything in view. Object snaps are very useful in creating geometry, especially when you combine them with the polar and ortho mode that we've previously viewed, as well as the grid and the other snap modes here. Try and explore with what objects that you can create yourself with the various drafting aids that you can. Remember, you can always right click in any of these settings here, go to settings, and look at any of the tabs here to make adjustments as needed.